Hey everyone, this is Scott Leroy of Scott Leroy Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how you can actually go through and add the new estate only widget onto your command site. Now, in order for this to work 100% properly, where it's going to have your branding every time, we'll need to do a, a few things on here. All right, so the first and foremost, we'll need to have newestateonly.com you know, up and running, so you'll need to be signed in here. We're going to need our command account active on here, so let's go and sign into command. And then I'll put this inside the description of the video, but then we're going to need iframe-generator.com. Now there are multiple other iframe platforms you could use. This is just the one that I'm going to use for the time being though. All right. So with that being said, once we're under new estate only at the top, right, we're going to have our name up here Now let's go and click on our name and hopefully you already have your iframe in the back end. So you'll have the, my iframe section. This is going to be linked with your MLS. So I'm going to click on my iframe on here and you'll notice when I scroll down, it's going to have my active subscription. So I've got the greater Orlando area on here. I can see the order history. So we're all good to go. All right. So if you don't have this on here, that would be the first thing that needs to be completed. But then once we have that done, now we can put inside our URL. So if you don't know what your command website URL is, no worries. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our command platform and on the left hand side at the very bottom on here under these applets, we're going to click on consumer. All right, so let's go and click on consumer on here. And once we do that, your command URL is going to display right up here in the top in the middle. So now you can copy this command URL. All right, that's going to be your command website URL and then add this over into this first section. So I can put inside the entire URL on here, including that HTTPS colon slash slash. All right, now from there, obviously we can go through and we can choose our language. English is the default on here, or Spanish or Portuguese are available. All right, and then we can choose our colors. So if you wanna change your color on here, it's gonna give you the RGB options. So if you want to add inside your own preferred color scheme, you can as well too for the main and secondary colors. And in the description of the video, I'll go ahead and include the RGB options for the KW colors in case you want to include those as well. All right. Now, once you have that completed though, now we can go through, I'm going to click save changes. So if you did change anything, make sure you click save changes. You'll see iframe code has been updated and it's been saved successfully. All right, but now we can go on here and copy the iframe. So I'm going to copy this iframe on here just by clicking copy code. And that's all we'll need to do. All right, so we're going to click on copy code and that'll be perfect. All right, and what we're now going to do is we're going to go back to our command site. All right, so we're going to go back to the command site on here. All right, and once we do that, now we're going to go inside here, but we're going to go to landing pages. So you don't have to click on landing pages. I always like to click on it though, just to be on here. And as you can see, I've got a, a couple landing pages already out here, but what we'll do is we're going to click on create new page at the top, right? So you technically don't have to click on landing pages, but I just want to show you all where we're going to go. So in case you want to access this, you know, this is where you can access it. Obviously we will need the landing page URL in a second. All right, so once I click on create new page, I'm now going to do as a landing page and I'm going to click create page. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to retitle my landing page and maybe I'll title it new construction. And then I'm going to add inside two items. I'm going to add inside a branded header. And this is going to have all of our information that's auto populating from our marketing profile. All right, and then I'm also going to go down to content blocks. So I'm going to click on content blocks and drag over some text. Now, once I drag over the text, this is where I can copy everything or highlight everything. So I did control A if you're on a PC or command A if you're on a Mac. So I did control A to highlight all the text. And now I'm going to paste inside that code that we had over here. So I'm going to paste inside this iframe code. All right, so I'm going to highlight all this and paste that in. And that's perfect. That's what we want on here. 
All right, so once I have that completed, I can now click Publish Page. And I'll say yes, update it. All right, and now if I go back to my landing pages, so if I go back to landing pages on here, that page is going to display at the very top. All right, and here's the URL of what you currently have. Now, if you just want to use this as a landing page, then you can stop right here and you're all good to go. All right, let me refresh this real quick. I apologize about Sorry about that. Let me refresh this page on here and it should display properly. You will not run into that issue. I ran into that issue over here, so I apologize. All right, but as you can see, now it's gonna show this on here. So if you just wanna use a landing page, that's perfect. But if you wanna add this to your website, this is what we'll be able to do. So we're gonna take this URL, take the URL up here at the top. This is our landing page URL, and I'm gonna copy it. And now I'm gonna to go to iframe generator. So iframe dash generator on here. I'm gonna paste inside that iframe. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change a couple things on here. All right, so I'm gonna change the width on here. I'm gonna make this, mm, let's make it 1400. I'm gonna do 1900 for the height. Now you can play around with this and see what that looks like. So I'm gonna preview this real quick to see what this looks like on here. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna be able to scroll down. All right, maybe I wanna make it a little bit bigger so I can see this pop up on here. All right, so maybe I'll make it a little bit larger. Let's try 2100. All right, so you can always go through and play along with this and see, all right, which one's going to be the best on here to use. All right, and then of course you could also add inside a scroll bar on here too. So if I click yes for the scroll bar, that's gonna add in that scroll option as well. As you can see, then we can scroll down a little bit further on here. There we go. All right, so I can see it's just, there's a little bit extra space on here. All right, not, not much, so let me try one more. I don't like using the scroll bar, but if you want to, you can. So I'm gonna do 2300. See how that looks. All right, so there's still a little bit of extra space, but that's okay. So I'm gonna leave it as is. So I'm just putting in 1400, 2300. You can change the, the height, the width if you'd like to. All right, now I'm gonna generate this code. So I'm gonna click generate on here, and this is my new iframe that I can put on my site. All right, so we'll need a different iframe to put on the site, so that way it'll keep your branding. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're now gonna go back over. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna click copy it. And we're going to go back over to our actual command backend, and now we're going to click on create new page. So we're going to do exactly what we did before, but instead of doing as a landing page, we're going to do on our agent site. So it's already selected, so I'm going to click create page. Now you have to have a widget on your site in order for this page to actually be published. So I'm going to add inside the download app widget, since at the bottom of every page is gonna be a contact form. So I'm just gonna add in the download app one, and now I'm gonna add in the content blocks again with the text, but this time at the top. All right, so now once again, I'm gonna highlight all the text, and before I put this in, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put a less than sign, the word center, and the greater than sign. And now I'm gonna put inside my iframe code. All right, and then I can end this with a less than sign, a slash, the word center, and then the greater than sign. Now what that's going to do by putting in that center is it's going to center this iframe to the middle of the page for you. All right, so instead of, if you notice on here when we previewed this, it's showing on the left-hand side. This is going to move it to the center, so it's going to be a little bit easier to see. All right, so I'm going to change this as well to new construction. And I'm going to save my changes on here. So now I can save my page. And once again, once you have this completed, if you notice inside the iframe on here, we can change the height and the width. So if you do want to go back and adjust that, please feel free. You know, everyone's got their own, own version of this they'd like to have. 
me get rid of this page real quick. All right, so once we complete that, I'm gonna remove a couple of these because these are annoying me right now. <laughs> All right, so once we have that completed on here, now I'm gonna click to add a page. So now we are, we're done with that. Now we're back over on agent site pages. We went over to site and app settings. It automatically took us there, but if you're back under the consumer applet, all right, once you click on that, it'll automatically take you to agent site pages. We can see our new construction one we just made. Once we go to site and app settings at the top right, on the far right hand side, we can go to agent site pages. Because unless you actually add inside the page, it won't display live. So even though we made the page, we still need to put it inside our menu bar. So I'm going to click add page. Here's my new construction one. I'll click continue. And I'm just going to title this new construction. I'm going to put that in as my SEO description. And then for the URL slug, I'm going to new, put in new dash construction. And I'll click save. So as you can see, everything's been done completely on here. So now I'm going to copy this. And now I can see what it's going to look like on my actual site. So this is the URL I can now share with my clients. They can come on here and see this immediately. So once again, the reason I said if you want to change some of the scroll bar options, if you notice there are multiple scroll bars on here, obviously. So depending on you know your preference, you might want to go through and adjust that. But then this will be a great way where now you can actually have this in your drop down menu for new construction properties. All right, so now you'll have not only a landing page, but then also the landing page inside. All right, so the landing page inside your actual website on here too. So there you go. All right, so that's how you can add the new estate only iframe, not only as a landing page, but also as a page on your website.